I'm going to talk about eelgrass habitats today. In this harbor, there is um, conditions that are right for growing eelgrass. Um, it grows in shallow bays. The Nantucket Harbor is around 6 to 12, 14 feet deep at the max. And this allows for enough light to reach the bottom where this unique plant can grow. Eelgrass, or zoster marina, is a type of seagrass. Plants that are specially adapted to grow underwater. They're flowering plants, angiosperms, and this is pretty unique. There aren't a large number of plants that, that do this. In this habitat, especially important for Nantucket, we have um, scallops. Scallops are a bivalve, and they're a unique bivalve in that they can swim. Most bivalves or clams that you think of are, um, live inside mud or sand and they dig down or they live attached to rocks. This is a unique type of clam that actually has a really large muscle, contracts and expands that muscle to move forward. And it's that muscle on the scallop that people like to eat. It's actually quite a sweet tasting bivalve. So uh, another adaptation that these scallops have is that they have a row of eyes around the edge. These eyes are not image forming eyes, but they're light sensing eyes. So they can detect if a predator is coming and then they can swim away. That's also fairly unique for clams. Most clams that live underground don't really need eyes per se because they don't wouldn't, have, wouldn't be able to sense predators coming by sight. So this is a very unique um, bivalve, and its, crit its critical habitat is eelgrass, both as an adult and as a juvenile. So in the summer, the um, scallops spawn, releasing their egg and sperm into the water. Egg and sperm meet and form larvae. Larvae swim around the bay, feeding in the surface waters and then settle down onto the eelgrass as juveniles. As juveniles, they actually have these little threads called bissel threads that stick them to the top of the eelgrass. And this provides them a place to sit and feed, but also protects them from predators. And then as, when they get to a certain size, they drop off the eelgrass and that's when they start to swim through the eelgrass. Again, the eelgrass is an important habitat that provides a little protection from predation. Um, we also have a lot of other species that use this habitat, such as shrimp and crabs and uh, small fish, and it provides important protection from predators. Large predatory snails that live in this shallow bay called whelks, or conch sometimes they're known as. So whelks are predators, actually. They um, prey on clams and other organisms inside the sediments of the bay. Now, why we, this is, um, very few fisheries of the scallop exist in the world. And this is one of the few wild fisheries of it. Wild caught. Other places, they um, aquacul use aquaculture to grow bay scallops. And um, the reason why it's not very, there aren't that many fisheries for the bay scallop is in the 1930s, there was a disease called wasting disease that killed off most of the eelgrass in these shallow bays along the east coast. And it's only been a few areas where the water clarity has been good enough for the eelgrass to reestablish itself that you find these fisheries. And Nantucket is one of the few areas where you have a really large stand of eelgrass. In fact, in Boston Harbor, there used to be large stands of eelgrass. Um, that no longer exists because the water quality was not good enough for them to reestablish. They're starting now, the water quality is better in Boston Harbor to try to replant eelgrass and see if they can get to regrow.